All right, in this video, we're going to do a uh, just a, a quick video in Design X showing just kind of how to quickly uh, uh, model something. This is a big, large industrial pipe or flange. It's about four feet long, about maybe 20 inches in diameter. And we're just going to show how you can quickly uh, model this. Okay, so this is scan data already brought in, merged together. And uh, let's turn on our planes. And we've already just put it in a coordinate system, but that's very fast. It just takes about a minute. Uh, so looking at it, I believe these two flanges are uh, uh, identical, just kind of a mirror copy of each other. Uh, so, uh, and again, different people will model this thing differently. This is just the way I, I'm going to do it. So to start with, I'm going to go to a mesh sketch. I'm going to pick this plane here. Um, I'm going to slide because that's right on the edge of the pipe. That's why it looks kind of rough. So let's sample the data slightly in on the flange. That'll put us in a true view. Let's turn off the scan data. And again, this scan data is a little rough. We just did a quick scan on it. Uh, we're going to get the outside circle there. Uh, and then we're going to repeat that command. And we'll grab one of these. And you can apply dimensions to these if you know the exact size. Just for this demo, I'm not. But you can quickly just add a dimension. Now I'm going to do a circular pattern. And I'm going to snap this right there to the center. And uh, we need 12 holes, which is already set. And we'll say OK. OK, so that's our first sketch, OK? So we create this reference sketch, and then we, and then we actually build an actual sketch. So let's turn our scan data back on. Let's go back to our side view. Let's go ahead and make our first extrusion uh, of that sketch. And um, one nice thing in Design X is if you just kind of grab it, it will snap right to the geometry, OK? And you could key in something different, but we'll go ahead and take that. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead. There's a couple ways we can do this, but we've got this, this chamfer, this taper here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll model that as part of that. That way when I mirror it over, it's done, and then I'll just connect the two sides. So let's go ahead and make a uh, plane. Um, we're going to do an offset plane. There, we can grab it, and I'm going to put it right there. And again, if we knew an exact amount, we could key it in. Okay, and then I'm going to do another uh, mesh sketch. I'm going to pick this plane. Now, I'm right at that weld, which I may not want, so I can move somewhere else. So I'm going to sample the data way over here, just because I've got a nice straight piece. But again, if you knew this diameter, um, you could certainly key it in, okay? Uh, so oops, let's go back to that true view. Oops, wrong button there, and let's turn off some of this data so we can see better. Okay, and again, I'm going to do a circle. And again, if I wanted to mention it, it's easy to do. Okay. Okay, so now I've got that. Let's turn back on our scan data and our solid body. Okay, so I've drawn a a uh, sketch right there at that seam. And now I'm going to extrude again, and I'm going to pick this. And uh, we could just go, I'll just go up to surface again. That'll be this face. And let's get back in that side view. And again, now I want to add some draft. Uh, 15 degrees, that probably looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. And we'll go ahead and merge that again. Okay, so now I've got that drawn. Now we'll go ahead and mirror that over. Click mirror, I'll click that piece, I'll click a symmetry plane, which when we set our system up, we already did that, and we have those two pieces, okay? So now, let's turn off that scan data. So now all I got to do is just connect the, connect the two, and there's a couple ways we can do that, uh, and we don't even really need a, um, a mesh sketch, so let's just do a regular sketch just to kind of show the difference, because we're, we're just going to use existing data. I just picked that plane. Um, and then what I'm going to do is this command called convert entities. That's just going to actually just make a copy of that edge. And then that's all I need for that sketch. So now when I go to extrude, and I pick, pick it here, uh, and again I'll go up to surface and just pick that other side. And it merges on. There we go. So let's look at our scan data. So that looks pretty good. Uh, 
let's go ahead and save. Always good to save. I'll call this number three. And I'll go ahead and overwrite that. Okay, so let's go ahead and now punch in this hole, and then we'll punch out the centers. So, uh, same thing. Let's get it in a side view. Let's do an offset plane. Offset plane. Let's put this plane here. Oops, oops, oops. Turn off some of this geometry. It keeps wanting to grab the uh, solid data. There we go. Grab that plane there. Now turn the scan data back on. Get back on our side view. Values way out, something crazy. So I'll just type in something small, just so I can move it up. And again, it kind of snaps to the geometry, but again, you can type in anything you want. Okay, there's our plane. We're going to do a sketch. This time, we want to go back to a mesh sketch because again, we want to sample the scan data. And I'm going to move it down just a hair. Let's go down one, one. Okay. Take it right there. And again, we're only going to do the outside, and then we'll punch out the the inner uh, when we're done. So let's do a circle. Try that again. There we go. And again, we're going to extrude. View. Don't really care. We just want to go down at least probably through the center because this is all merged right now, so it's not going to matter. Okay, and let's do a save again, and let's start punching out some of our inside stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, the other thing I could have done and I forgot to do is put that outside flange on, but we'll just do that separately. I could have done that when I mirrored it over. Um, so actually, let's do that first. So we want sketch, mesh sketch, take that plane. Uh, let's go one millimeter, perfect. And again, we could mirror this over. Uh, actually, let's do that just so you can show. So this time when we merge it, uh, we will not, uh, sorry, when we extrude it, we will not merge it. So let's do our circle. Good. And yeah, we can make these all kind of the same. Let me turn off that solid body. It's wanting to grab that. Okay, so there's our two circles. Now, this time when we extrude, we will not uh, merge it. Okay, we don't want to go that. Maybe two millimeters. So let's leave that. Turned off, that way it won't be part of the other body. Okay, and turn off the scan data. And then we'll do the same thing again where we mirror it over. So that's a separate entity now. Symmetry plane is the mid plane, is what should happen. Oops, too much higher. There we go. So now they're two separate entities. I can do a Boolean. Pick this one, pick this one. And pick this one. And there we go. Okay. Now let's cut out the inside. And again, that'll be a sketch. And again, this one we can just use a, a sketch. Pick this base plane. And then again, we're going to just pick this interior one because we want it to be the same. Okay. okay. So now let's model. Let's extrude. And since we're going to do a cut this time, we can just drag it as far as we want, doesn't really matter. And we do cut. And actually, before we cut that, let's go back because I think we're going to want to cut. Uh, yeah, we want to cut this one first. So, and then we'll cut that one through. So we don't have to do necessarily do them in order. So let's go uh, for this one. Sketch, we'll do mesh sketch. Let's pick this top plane. Let's turn on our scan data. And we'll sample that down just a hair. 
good. Should give us enough. Turn off this, turn off that. Create a circle here. Good. Again, you can put dimensions on any of this. Just trying to show you doing things fast, but you, when you put it on, you can key in a dimension. Okay, so now let's go ahead and line our screws. Let's put this down and go the other direction. I don't know where it comes up with these crazy numbers as far as how far you want to go. This will be our cut. Okay, so now we're going to do another extrude. And we're going to go back to this sketch, which will go this way. And that will also be a cut. So that should give us our pipe with our hole in it. Let's go ahead and save. I like to save often. And then our last thing we'll do is throw a radius on here. So let's just turn off our planes, make it easier to see. Uh, so let's go to fill it. And what's kind of cool is you can pick this and you can say sample the data and just tell me, look at the scan data underneath, and you can see it adjusted it to 90.8 something. So I'll just override that and make it 90. Nice easy number. So it looked at that underlying scan data to come up with the fillet size. Okay. So, so there you go. That's just a quick model. Uh, something this took uh, 12, just under uh, 12 minutes to model. And uh, let's turn off the scan data. And there. So right from here, we can uh, export it as a uh, parasolid, um, I just step, you know, any of your, your neutral CAD formats. Okay, so you've got uh, I just step parasolid. Those are your neutral formats. Uh, if you're running uh, CAD software with this, uh, then you can also do the uh, live transfers to SOLIDWORKS, Siemens, Creo, Creo AutoCAD, Inventor, Solid Edge. Um, and then you can save a native CATIA file. Now, these do not have the history tree, but the rest of these do. And to do that, this would open up SOLIDWORKS and roll back the tree and rebuild it. But uh, we're not going to show that in this demo. But anyways, that's just a quick... Uh, quick and dirty modeling uh, of a parts uh, to show how fast you can uh, you can actually do it.